So General 1.6, A Day for the Future. What Nicholas and I are to, going to try and do now is we're just going to go through some of the key features um, and, th and things that you can expect in 1.6. Okay, so everyone say hello to 1.6. It's nice to meet you. Well, the first thing that was added in Joomla 1.6 on popular demand was access control. And when we say access control, you can have uh, control over what you can add, what you can edit, and what you can see. And the key feature to access control, because there was some bit of access control in 1.5, but it wasn't really there. Now you can actually assign one user to many groups, so each group can control uh, access to different parts of the content, like different categories. And combine, com by combining uh, the access controls from all the user groups, one user can have uh, different uh, access to different parts of your website. It's a new component in uh, Joomla 1.6. Um, it's called the Redirect Manager. What this can do is, you can see, you can put at the top the source, the source URL. So that's the, maybe the URL from your old website, your old non-Joomla website. And below it, you can put the destination URL. So you can, in other words, you're directing all your old traffic to your new traffic, to your new website, to the specific page that you want to. Uh, but you can use it for more than that. Tiny URLs. Yeah? You don't need to use a third party service. You can use this to create your own tiny URLs. So I could use this to create a, a new URL on my blog at brian.team.net 1.6. And 1.6 is my tiny URL to a longer content item. Yeah, so you can use the redirect manager for lots of things, but at the end of the day, with no more 404s, you get control of exactly where the user gets sent and for what page. You can have language-specific content, which hasn't been present in Joomla, I think, forever. Yes. Uh, the idea is that you get to show a specific piece of content in Artbook only to users with uh, have a specific language set up in their profile. For example, uh, you can show a different uh, one article to Greek users, another article to Danish users, and a third article to everybody. So this pretty much allows you to create a multilingual website, but it is not like a, a Junefist. It doesn't allow you to have the same article and translate it to different languages. This means that its translation is not linked to the main article. Yes? How does it determine what language you have? Is that simply create a user? Okay, so the, the here, the question was how does it determine what language you're using? It, it, it actually doesn't. It doesn't. It, it, well, it, it's a, it is a simplified option. Um, and there's, for example, there's, there's two ways. You can either have a drop down module on the page that you are. For unregistered users, for example. For example. Yeah, so that you can choose which language you want, or if it's a logged in user, you can assign them to a specific language. So, those are some of the brand new features. Let's have a look at some of the others, some of the changes. First of all, the system requirements for your Joomla website are now higher. You need to be on your server, your web host, needs to be on PHP 5.2 or higher or MySQL 5.0 and higher. Now the reality is, if you're with a web host that's using older versions of those, you need to move. <laughs> Not Very fast. Because some, some hosts are still using PHP 4. That died officially on the 8th of the 8th, 2008. I think that, that's when uh, the Olympic Games in mm. Beijing started. It was the same day. Okay. <laughs> So it was supposed to be, you know, you shouldn't be on PHP 4 now because it's officially dead, it's insecure, there's no fixes, no patches, and PHP 5.0 and 5.1 were a bit buggy. So Joomla now forces you to be on uh, PHP 5.2, and MySQL also has to be on 5 now. But again, a good web host should be offering these automatically anyway. You know, Joomla's not asking you to do anything special, it's just saying, keep up to date. Cool. Another thing that's gone is the bridge to the past. There is no legacy mode, which means that Joomla 1.0 components, unlike with Joomla 1.5, will no longer run. If you have a component 
or any other extension which requires Joomla 1.0 or the legacy mode in Joomla 1.5 is a goodbye. It's not going to work. Uh, another thing is that there is no legacy mode for Joomla 1.5 extensions. So if you have right now some extension which is written only for 1.5 and it is not port ported to 1.6, you can't use it. The reality is that most developers like me want to support a new system, so uh, we're all writing new versions of our own extensions which support Joomla 1.6, but this is something you have to keep in mind. If you use an extension which is no longer maintained, like uh, a module, a plugin, a component, which was written once before a couple of years and then the developer disappeared, uh, you have to find a replacement for, for your new website in Joomla 1.6. What are the other new features, or change features, let's say, is unlimited nested categories. What does that mean? First thing it means is bye-bye sections. Yeah, there is no such thing in Joomla 1.6 as a section. There are only categories. And you can have a category inside a category, inside a category, inside a category, inside a category, and inside a category. There's no limits. Now, this is something that people have been asking for for as long as I've been involved. Um, I have to say, it's never been a problem for me not having unlimited categories, but I do acknowledge that for a lot of people, that's what they want, nested categories. This is something that I have been personally nagging developers for for about six and a half years. Because I thought it was really silly that I had a save and an apply. And teaching users that save means save and close, and apply means save and carry on, was always hard. So apply has gone. It's now called save. And instead, the old one, save, is now called save and close. <laughs> but for me, the two that I really wanted to see are save and new and save, and save as copy. So what's saving you? Well, when you're building a website, you usually have to, one of the tasks you have to do is create content. And you usually have more than one piece of content to create. So instead of going new, type it, save. New, type it, save. And all the time you're loading that article manager in between, you can now go save and new, all in one step. And it's just much, much faster. Um, you really, when people start to actually use that, you'll see your product productivity uh, really increase. And the final one is save as copy. Quite often we, we've got an article, or it, maybe it's a biography of someone, we've got a, a, a style we want to keep to, so we create an article, and then we want to do that again. So you have to go into the article manager and click copy, and it makes a copy of it, it's got a silly title called copy of, and then you edit it and save it, and, Okay, so all of that's gone. You just open up the one that you want to do, you know, your master one, you edit it, you hit save as copy, and it prompts you for the new title, save, all in one go. It's nice and easy. Power to the menu. Well, the menu manager has been revamped. Yeah. We have added a lot of new features in Joomla 1.6, and one of those is that you can now, when you edit a menu, you can see which modules are assigned to that menu. So you no longer have to have uh, two different tabs open in the administrator area, one in the mid, in, one with the module manager and trying to figure out which modules are in this menu, and then the menu manager and try to make the changes, it's all in one page. And the other thing is that there have been a lot of options added to the menu manager which can be used to improve your SEO. The other thing is that there have been a lot of options added which can help you to improve your SEO ranking of your website. You can control uh, all the metadata at the menu item level. You no longer have to figure out how to go to that particular extension and edit the specific content item in order to fix those uh, missing metadata and stuff like that. You can do that directly from the menu. Articles. Articles, you've always been able to set a published start time and a published end time. But you could never do that for modules. So now you can. So you can, very easy, you, know, you create a module, 
a booking, you know, countdown to an event, for example, on the Jumbo Day DK website. You just make it, you just set it to finish publishing on today's date. So it's nice and easy. And it was sort of, it was just one of those things that made sense. You know, it was, it's not a rocket science change, it's very easy code change, but it just makes sense to do it. Luckily, you can have modules placed anywhere. One of the major woes with Joomla 1.0 and 1.5 is that you were able to only assign modules to specific menu items or to all menu items or to no menu items. But you couldn't just say that I want this module to appear everywhere on my site except those few menu items. So, who wants to go on a date with 1.6? Oh yes, this is, this is really a very cheap day. You don't have to do anything fancy. Just go to joomla.org, the official website, and you will see down to, towards the bottom left, there is a download link for, for the beta version. Joomla 1.6 beta, I think we're now beta 12. Yeah, beta, uh, beta 12, um, there's a new beta release comes yeah, out every two weeks. So just go there, download it, you know, install it on the live site. It's not ready for production yet. You can install it on your local server. I think that you will know how to run a uh, month one uh, exam. Uh, do I forget any of them? Uniform yes. server? Yes, Zen Microsoft server. Microsoft thing. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah. thank you. Did he just go home? <laughs> so, yeah, he's, he's home. so there's that Microsoft thing as well. <laughs> you can very easily create a local web server and deploy it to the 1.6 and start learning uh, how it works. So when it hits general availability, you will be ready, you can start creating your websites. So, to answer your question from earlier about what, you said what happens to my sections. Yeah. Okay, so let's get something clear from the beginning. Moving from Joomla 1.5.21, which I'm sure is the version you're running, because that's the most up to date and most secure version, to Joomla 1.6 is not, let's say, let's say that again, it's not, just a case of changing the files, yeah, because it's a big change, yeah. Um, I think it's more accurate to not use the word upgrade, but to use the word migrate, because you have to move. If you choose to move, and that's the first thing to say is it's a choice. Even when Joomla 1.6 is released, Joomla 1.5 is, is committed to be maintained for 12 months. When is 1.6 ready? How long is a piece of string? You know, it really depends. As Nicholas says, it depends. Get that beta, yeah, download it, play with it. Whatever you find, there's a bug tracker, or an issue tracker it's called now. It's called issue tracker. Yeah, issue tracker. Because not everything's a bug, as in, for a coder would say, that's not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> if it doesn't work the way I want it to work, it's an issue. So it's called an issue tracker. Um, and some things are really, really simple to change. So, but we don't, the developers don't know necessarily that people have got an issue with that. So they need to be told, um, and they want to be told. There is one other feature we forgot about that's gone. Which one? Front page manager. Yes, that's gone. Okay. It's another feature too. Yeah, front page manager has gone and it's now been replaced by something called featured articles. It's a little bit more than just a name change, but fundamentally everything you could do with front page manager you can now do with featured articles. Just you can do a lot more. So thanks very much. Um, we are here, Nicholas and myself, um, for the rest of the uh, day and this evening. Uh, we're also here all day tomorrow. Um, but we're both doing some more presentations. So, you know, if you do if you do have questions at all, you know, by all means, you know, stop us and ask us. If it, I have to say, if it's a coding question or a really technical question, don't waste your time and ask me. <laughs> ask Nicholas, because I'm just going to look at you and just nod very nicely.